Somewhere in the vast canyons of Superstition Mountain in the Great Southwest, a fortune in gold lies hidden. Many men have died in their search for it. But only one white man since the year 1884 has ever seen any of that lost gold. And he wasn't looking for it. Rex Allen stars as the Frontier Doctor. The Perkins Ranch lies about seven miles due west of Superstition Mountain. And that's a long drive from Rising Springs. I got there as soon as I could. An old Yaki war chief had been carried down from the mountain. He was dying, they said. Messiah, eldest son of the war chief, was waiting for me when I got there. So was my old friend Slim Perkins. I hurried inside to see the patient. One look and I was almost sure of what my diagnosis would be for this old chief. Nervous exhaustion, brought on by too many years up there on Superstition Mountain. That mountain didn't just destroy white men. Now it was even destroying Yakis. From the window, you got a good look at it, the mountain. I'm a practical man, don't believe in ghosts or haunted mountains, but I couldn't help wondering Who's up there now? Who's next? Some of the boys back at the post said I was crazy. Maybe they're right. You are not crazy. It's a cinch I wasn't crazy when I married you. They won't be calling me crazy when I come back with a sack full of gold. How much farther now? We are going down in Talking Canyon. If one talks to the canyon, the canyon talks back to him. Oh? Hello! 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 That is why my people call it the Talking Canyon. The one who calls back is the Thunder God. That's no thunder, God, honey. It's just an echo. Listen. I am David Lanyon. This is my wife. See what I mean? <laughs> hey, but that's no echo. Come on, run! No, no! Don't try to lift me. Might be my back. I'd like to stay here. Stay here? Yes. Did you get a doctor? Do you understand? A doctor? Uh, pull the pack of that horse. Leave it close to me. Go on, go on! <laughs> My rifle! <laughs> now, get on that horse and, and run. Keep to the bottom of the canyon. Don't stop until you're on this crazy mountain. That's my husband. Run, Juanita, run.
Matt. Maybe we can outrun him. to stay here and rest about a week till he gets his strength back, then you can take him over to his sister's place in Bisbee. My father will live? He'll live as long as he doesn't go back up on that mountain. My people shall forever be grateful to Dr. White Eyes. And forever grateful to you, sir, for giving us shelter. Shucks, sir. Quiet down, you hounds. Agnes! Four, quiet, quiet! Howdy. I'm Sergeant Stone, 7th Cavalry. They told me over in Mesa I could find a doctor here. That's right. Dr. Baxter. He's inside. Bill? This here's Sergeant Stone, Dr. Baxter. How do you do, Sergeant? Howdy. We just got down from Superstition Mountain. Yakis are on the warpath. David Lanyon, one of our troopers, is up there with a bullet in him. Me and this girl are lucky to get out alive. Please, sir, he is badly hurt. You must help him if you are a doctor. I'm a doctor, and I'll help him if I possibly can. This girl's Trooper Lanyon's wife. She's from the Pima tribe. Well, if she's a Pima, what's she doing up here in Yaki country? She went up into Superstition Mountain for the same reason everybody else does. The lost wheelbar mine? She told her husband she could lead him to it. And her husband is AWL from Fort Yaki, huh? Now, Lanyon didn't desert. He was on leave to get married to her. For the honeymoon, they packed into the mountain to find that gold. Yaki's jumped him. Where's her husband now? Somewhere up near Echo Canyon. She says it's a hard place to find. If I go with you, can you show me where your husband is? Oh, yes, I will lead the way. Bill, I can't leave the ranch alone to go with you. I know that, Slim. All I need is some fresh horses and some supplies and this girl to show me where he is. But you can't go up to that mountain alone in that place. I've been in tougher places. But a man alone. I'll be with him. Got to get back there myself. Tracking down a couple no-good soldiers. Deserters from Fort Yaki. I thought you said Trooper Lanyon wasn't a deserter. He's not. Lanyon was on regular leave. But a couple of other soldiers from his outfit got the bright idea they'd trail Lanyon and this girl to the gold. And kill him, no doubt. Those are the boys I'm after. Ben Wexley and Frank Gunther. When do you want to leave? Daybreak. Me and this Indian girl need some rest. Masio will ride with you. No, you won't. Why not? Because he's a Yaki, and I don't trust Yakis. He'll probably have us ambushed. Be ready at daybreak, Masio. You ride with us. At daybreak, we were ready to start the long trek into Superstition Mountain. My job was to give medical aid to a wounded man. The sergeant's job was to locate a couple of army deserters from Fort Yaki. Let me put this into your bag. It's no surgical instrument, but might come in handy. Thanks, Slim. All right, let's go. Perkins Ranch. I'm told you're going into the mountain to look for David Lanyon. What about it? I'm going with you. No, you're not. That mountain's no place for a woman. Well, what about her? She's our guide, ma'am. David Lanyon's been hurt. She's taking us to him. Is her name Juanita? Yes. She's his wife. Mr. Perkins told me David had been badly hurt. I intend to go to him. 
If you won't let me join your party, I guess I'll have to go alone. That's plain suicide, lady. Why would you risk your life for David Lanyon? What's he to you? He's my brother. I find it hard to believe that he'd marry an Indian and become a squaw man. I want to hear it from him. Well, gentlemen, do I join you? Well, Sergeant, looks like we've got another one added to our party. That's the way you want it, lady. That night, our party was already deep back into Superstition Mountain. We put the horses on a picket line and made camp in a ravine. But the Indian was the only one who was not worried. He got some sleep. I had taken the first watch myself, and Sergeant Stone was due to take the second. his own horse. But why? I ask you why. I couldn't even guess. I can guess. That lousy Indian went after his warriors. They'll ride back here and kill every last one of us. I don't think so, Sergeant. You don't think so? What do you know about Yakis? Your business is pushing pills. My business is taking care of savages. The sea is no savage. You and me went to different schools, Doc. The school I went to says the only good Yaki is a dead Yaki. We did go to different schools, Sergeant. You ladies try to get some rest. We don't have anything to worry about, not with Messia. Thank you, Doctor. I hope you're right. But I don't trust Indians. Not even their squaws. By noon the next day, we were in Echo Canyon. Juanita guided us to the place where she had left her husband. Some prospector came along and helped him. The pack, all of our belongings. Why did he leave them? Sergeant, he's gone. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts, Doc. I don't either. There's a man up in those rocks. You and Juanita stay here. But why? I ask you why. I couldn't even guess. I can guess. That lousy Indian went after his warriors. They'll ride back here and kill every last one of us. I don't think so, Sergeant. You don't think so? What do you know about Yakis? Your business is pushing pills. My business is taking care of savages. The sea is no savage. You and me went to different schools, Doc. The school I went to says the only good Yaki is a dead Yaki. We did go to different schools, Sergeant. You ladies try to get some rest. We don't have anything to worry about, not with Messia. Thank you, Doctor. I hope you're right. But I don't trust Indians. Not even their squaws. By noon the next day, we were in Echo Canyon. Juanita guided us to the place where she had left her husband.
he was too hurt. He couldn't have left by himself. Well, maybe some prospector came along and helped him. The pack, all of our belongings. Why did he leave them? Sergeant, he's gone. <laughs> Just get back to the women. We found this man in Talking Canyon. He needs help of good doctor. Sir. My name is David Lanyon, Trooper Lanyon. I was ambushed in Echo Canyon. These Indians found me. My wife, she rode out to get some help, I'm afraid. Your wife's all right, David. She got through and she brought help. My tribe is grateful to Dr. White Eyes for saving life of Chief. We wish you to accept this gift. virgin gold. Well, there's enough gold in that bag to... Why, to do anything you want. You're sure a lucky man, Doctor. Pretty lucky yourself. Two women risked their lives for you. Two women? Your wife and your sister. They're waiting for you back in Echo Canyon. Think you can make the trip? <laughs> sure, Doctor. Hang on to this. Travis, you're a long way from home. Hello, Lanyon. Sure don't look like you're having much of a honeymoon. I'm not. Who are you? Dr. Baxter, Rising Springs. I'm Corporal Travis, 7th Cavalry, Fort Yaki. A couple of men went AWL from the post, Ben Wexley and Frank Gunther. Their idea was to follow you. Seen them? We had just started into the mountain when I got shot. I rode up here with Sergeant Stone to hunt for those two deserters. The sergeant and I got separated. The Yaki's got the sergeant. Your sergeant's all right. What do you mean he's all right? I buried him three days ago. You what? He was dead when I found him. They didn't scalp him for some crazy reason. They just stole his uniform. Describe Sergeant Stone. Tall man, about 40. Wear a patch over one eye? No, sir. The only soldier I know with a patch over his eye is Frank Gunther. He's one of the deserters from Fort Yaki. The other deserter is Ben Wexley. The Indians didn't kill Sergeant Stone. Frank Gunther did. Say that again. Frank Gunther killed him, stole his uniform, and he's been posing as Sergeant Stone ever since. But why? Because he's still looking for the lost wheelbar gold mine. He needed supplies to make a trip back into the mountains. He needed Lanyon's wife, too, to show him where the mine was. Then it wasn't the Indians that shot me. It was Gunther. He killed Ben Wexley, too. I saw that with my own eyes. But why Wexley? Wexley lost his mind up here in Echo Canyon. Gunther figured he still may be sane enough to identify him. Where's Gunther now? Back in Echo Canyon. We'll have to leave you here. We can't leave a wounded man out here, Doctor. I think he'll be willing. His wife and his sister are back there alone with Gunther. I'll stay right here, Doctor. Just tie my horse up good and tight. <laughs> Soldier, we'll be back. I 
don't understand, Sergeant. The doctor told us to wait here. I think we should stay. How many times do I have to tell you the Yankees took him? Think they took him to a picnic? No. I'm looking for my husband and you look for your brother. The sergeant can help us find David. First you can find something for me, Indian. The lost wheelbarrow mine. You won't need that lady. You might hurt yourself with it. You talk to her. Tell her she won't get hurt and neither will you. She'll just show us to that mine. Show you the gold? Don't play dumb, Juanita. You figured on showing your husband to that mine. Now you can show me instead. Are you out of your mind, Sergeant? You can lose your stripes for this. I don't have any stripes. You women be straight. My name's not Sergeant Stone. It's Frank Gunther. Your name is Frank Gunther? Frank Gunther. I'm already a WL from Fort Yankee. I'll soon be wanted for killing Sergeant Stone. Impersonating an officer. Killing Ben Wesley. But I've, I've got nothing against you women. I hope I won't have to kill both of you. Now, come on, Juanita. Show us to the gold. All right, tell her I'm here. Tell her she better show us to that mine and quit. Time's running out on me. You will never find the mine. Never! You fool! You're trying to kill the only one who can lead you to the mine! Just crazy enough to kill you if you don't lead me to that gold. chance to get those women out than you have. You want to ride in there alone, Doc? Those Yankees helped me once. I'm sure they will again. Hold me your rifle on your horse. Watch yourself, Doc. I wouldn't trust a Yankee too far. I'd trust a Yankee a lot further than I would a man like Frank Gunther. broken. I'm sure he'll be all right. You found my husband? I'll take you to him. Thunder God is angry. My husband and I, we come here to find gold. But Thunder God wishes people to find their hearts. Juanita, whatever you think of me, please. I know my brother found himself a good wife. David Lanyon, fully recovered from his wound, soon started back over the trail with his lovely bride, still seeking the lost mine. That was back in the year 1897. Since then, every time I drive within sight of Superstition Mountain, I think about all the gold Messiah gave me. Did it come from the lost wheelbarrow mine? I don't know. 
I guess I'll never know. But anyhow, that gold built a new hospital for Indians in the town of Mesa. Someday I'd like to find a little more of that gold. We need a new hospital in Rising Springs. On second thought, I think I'll let the good citizens build it for me. <laughs>